So my name is Joshua Stenhouse. I'm the technical evangelist at Zerto. And just to give you a little bit of background for those of you who haven't met me before, I've been with Zerto now four years, two years in marketing, two years in sales as a sales engineer in Europe. And then before that, I was a customer of Zerto where I had my own virtual infrastructure up in not so sunny Manchester, England, as you can tell by my accent. And so I've gone on a very exciting journey with you, the help of you guys in promoting Zerto from inception. And what I want to do today is take you through. Roughly gray. Yeah, <laughs> is take you through what's new, and also some cool things that we've been working on. But because we've got a varying level of knowledge on Zerto itself in the room, from people who have written blogs and used it in production to people who might just have heard of it, I want to just do a little level set before we go into the agenda. As a basic introduction, we have over 3,000 customers now, which is pretty good going, I think you'll agree, in the uh, five years since we GA'd. We're in over 50 countries that we're selling. We have 200 cloud providers using our software to sell DR as a service, and it's 100% year-on-year growth that we're seeing, which means this is a very fun company, but also very intense, because every year when we hit a sales target, they say, great, well done, it's doubled again. And every single year, we're doing that successfully. We have the awards that we've spoken of already, best of VMworld, very much thanks to you guys. And when you hear the feedback from our customers and partners, they will typically say the same thing. It's great, it does exactly what it says on the tin. And we're going to go into a bit more detail on exactly what is in that tin in this presentation. But I think we can all agree that IT is evolving. This is why people are watching this and streaming this right now. And this is why we've got someone here. <laughs> Nobody wants to be this guy. Everybody needs to keep pace with evolving the IT. Last poor bottom. <laughs> and you can join him for a beer later if you want. And the reason IT is evolving is that, yes, we know we started with physical servers. Some crazy people still have a huge heap of these. We moved to virtualization. The thing is now we're starting to call anything virtualized software defined kind of one and the same thing, but we all know that software defines taking more and more physical aspects of a data center and moving them with the workloads now into the hypervisor. And whether you choose to or not, your organizations that you're advising are probably embracing cloud already, be it via IT or maybe shadow IT. And so as you go on this journey, then there are specific challenges. And one of the challenges is how do you protect workloads? How do you migrate them? And before Zerto came along, if you wanted to do BCDR, disaster recovery, mobility in an enterprise scale environment, there was one way to do it, and that was replication at the storage layer. You put 1,000 VMs on some LUNs, replicate the LUNs, you've got 1,000 VMs in the recovery site, which you can then orchestrate, automate, and recover. But as soon as you've embraced virtualization, you've now got a physical lock-in still because you've got to match the storage between the sites. You've got to replicate the LUNs. It has no awareness of the virtual machines. And to recover them, you're going to have to either write some scripts or go and buy a separate orchestration solution a la Site Recovery Manager. So what Zerto did is we moved the replication and the recovery into the hypervisor, and we made it software-defined. What does that do? It removed the physical lock-ins and allowed you to fully realize the benefits of virtualization because now you just selected the virtual machines. We made it simple, scalable, and you could just manage it all from one interface completely integrated into the virtual environment. And that's why we have been growing at the pace we have because for a lot of customers out there, it's a no-brainer. If you look at the trend over the last four years, why is more and more technology moving into the hypervisor? It's to overcome slow physical lock-ins. Look at networking. You hit the maximum number of VLANs. Great use case for then virtualizing your networking. It's the exact same thing with replication and disaster recovery. By moving it into the hypervisor and making it software defined, you're allowing a whole world of possibilities to be realized. And what that means is that if you lead the design of your infrastructure with Zerto as the first solution, not the bolt-on thing at the end on disaster recovery, it allows you, first of all, to harmonize across all the disparate technologies that you might see across global data centers. It doesn't matter which storage array that you have here, which vSphere version that you have there. If you want to bring in that new fancy all-flash array vendor, you don't have to rip out all the existing storage in that uh, infrastructure. You can bring it in, 
and maintain the protection of the virtual machines across those different technologies. You can do automated testing, orchestrated failovers, rewind back in time, which ultimately removes risk, allows you to prove compliance. You can use the same software to migrate workloads to consolidate multiple data centers down. We see a lot of global customers having huge projects for taking 80 data centers down to 10, which is one that I spoke to this morning. And once you've gone from 80 to 10, how do you then provide self-service capabilities and uh, you know, abstract the user from the underlying technology? You can use Zerto to evolve and maybe replicate on-premise today into the cloud in the future and use it as a way to bridge that gap and utilize the cloud in a way that makes sense, which for a lot of customers is the first dip is disaster recovery as a service. And that could be to Amazon, IBM software. We have over 200 Zerto cloud service providers, as I mentioned, and we're gonna come back to the cloud later in this presentation. And ultimately with all these use cases, you're gonna simplify your environment because with one solution, migrations, disaster recovery, consolidations, you can use the same Zerto software, the same interface.